Hey guys, Bobby here, and as wedding filmmakers, we are always trying to tell the best story with our films. Not only is that told visually, but of course with audio as well, something that is equally important in my opinion. So today I wanna to show you the only three audio cables that you'll need to get a feed into your recorder of choice and where I like to plug them in. These three cables have lived in our bag for many, many years now, and in nearly 13 years, I can count on one hand the times that I've been unable to get a feed from a DJ or venue, and those were usually due to things out of my control. Now I'm using the Tascam DR40 currently, but these cords can work with tons of different recorders. I'm also a big fan of having backups. I wouldn't recommend relying on just one recording device. You can check out my video on capturing perfect audio at weddings, which I'll link above, and that goes a bit more in depth. And I plan to do another video on the Tascam DR10X, which has become a great backup option for me that we've added recently. The first cord that I use and the one that I find myself using most frequently is a quarter inch to quarter inch. As far as speeches go or the ceremony or anything like that, I'm really just after the vocals and I don't care about the music. So if there's an option for me to grab that out of the back of the microphone receiver, that is usually the route that I'll go. Occasionally there might be an XLR out of the receiver that's available, but usually it's a quarter inch. I like this because I get the signal before it goes into the DJ's soundboard, so I know exactly what I'll be getting and the levels that I'll be getting it at. You may also be able to plug this into a soundboard if for some reason you can't plug into the mic receiver. The second cable I bring with me is a simple XLR cable. This usually provides me a variety of options of where to plug in. One great option is right into the back of a speaker, but you'll often have the option of plugging this into a soundboard as well. It can be a good idea to test both as there can be advantages to each. So plug in, do a sound check and see what sounds best for you. It's important to note though that in this scenario, you are at the mercy of the DJ or whoever is running the sound. They may change levels, introduce music, or other things that can interfere with your audio. The last cord that I bring is an RCA to quarter inch. This is typically my last resort and it's pretty rare that I have to use it, but it's good to be prepared. The RCA or red and white side are often available out of the soundboard and then the quarter inch goes into your recorder. This one is also at the mercy of whoever's running sound, so make sure to monitor it. So that's it guys, the three cords that have allowed me to capture clean audio at every wedding for many years. I'll link them in the description below if you wanna check them out. Of course, there is way more to audio than just bringing the right cables, but you definitely wanna make sure that you're able to get a feed from a DJ or venue in every scenario. And these three cords will allow you to do just that. Thanks for watching, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.